FIFA 23 has now been officially fully released and the biggest question everyone is asking is how can they build up some coins at the beginning of FIFA 23 to give yourselves a most successful start as possible. Well, so far since the release of FIFA 23, I have managed to build myself up a coin balance of around about 240-250k with this Rudiger investment right here. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys the easiest trading methods, which are some of the best trading methods to make coins. So you guys can make lots of coins with little to no effort in FIFA 23 to help you guys build your better teams and buy better players for your guys' squads. If you do find this video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA 23 content. You can also join my FIFA Discord server, link in description. Without further ado, let's get straight into method number one. Now before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FIFA 23 coins, completely safe and reliable. And if you use code MANS at a checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Okay, so the very first trading method I'm going to be showing you guys is one that you should be using at a lower budget. I'm talking around about 10,000 coins in FIFA 23. Now, this isn't actually going to be trading with players, but instead trading around consumables. In particular, the consumable type will be chemistry styles. What you guys need to do is select a chemistry style on the market which has a minimum by now of 400 coins plus. Personally from doing this method the best ones which I have found to work include Finisher, Anchor, Shadow and Hunter. These are my favourite four that I have been using although I'm sure you guys can find your own. For the sake of showing you guys I will be using the Anchor chemistry style. What you then need to do is head over to the market and find the cheapest by now which you guys can sell these cards on for relatively quickly. So for Anchor it looks like obviously currently for me these cards are going to be able to be sold at 1.2k within a couple minutes or so. Obviously, prices may differ when you guys are using these methods. But 1.2k I can get for the chemistry, anchor chemistry style. So therefore, if we knock this card down to a maximum by now of 900 coins and begin sniping, any card which does pop up, any chemistry style here, we know if we do win that card, we can go list that card on for 1.2k and take the 200 coin profit minimum on these cards. Now with these being chemistry styles, we can see these cards as low as 400 coins, even below that. So we can make a nearly 1000 coin profit if we do get one of these trades at minimum price, which makes this method incredibly worth it. As you guys can see, 700 coins then we do load in an anchor chemistry style. Now I did load in a little bit late. If we were successful in getting that snipe, we could list that on for 1.2k and take the 500 coin profit there you guys see how the method does work again we load back in 800 coins this time we do win that trade we can then go and list this card onto the market straight away for 1.2k taking the 350 coin profit in between there very simple method and these cards do sell on very quickly now, if you guys aren't having as much luck sniping these cards, what you can actually do is either the compare price by count mechanic, where you guys simply just sit on the 59th minute and compare price back out. Every time you do this, it updates the market. Therefore, when a card does pop up in an undercut, you buy that card and obviously sell it on for the price which you can sell these cards. So, for example... If an anchor does pop up for 900 coins, we will pick that up, then go and list it on for, uh, for 1.2k. So, for example, 800 coins, if we could get that, we would buy it, sell it on for 1.2k. Now, the final way which you can trade with this chemistry styles is going to be mass bidding. Obviously, work out what you need to win these cards on bid for. So, for me, currently with the anchor, selling them on at 1,200 coins, we want to win them on bid at 900 coins and under. Then, select this as your max price and search the market. As you guys can see, there's all of these anchor chemistry styles here. And I would go through every single one of these, putting a bid for 900 coins on every single one of these, as many as I want to. Obviously, the more cards which you do win, the more total profit which you accumulate. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the first trading method which should help you guys build up your coin balance. Now, guys, the next trading method I'm going to be showing you is going to be a different variation of the Gold Rare Shadow method, as this time we'll be only trading with a singular player. For this, first select the Quality to Gold Rare and then the Chemistry Style to Shadow. Now select your budget, so let's say you are trading with 20,000 coins in this method, put the maximum by now to 20k and then search the market. Now all you guys are looking for is players which commonly pop up under the shadow chemistry style. So for example here, Joe Gomez is a player which would work well on this filter, or other cards which regularly pop up like Fafana, Tadebo, uh, Realm, Nikita, Tierney, you guys get the idea. You are just looking for a player who commonly pops up, which people commonly apply a shadow chemistry style to. So, once you have located your player which you are going to trade with, for the sake of showing you guys, we will just use Joe Gomez. Then what you will do is head over to the market and find the cheapest by now which these cards do sell on for with the Shadow Chemist shot applied. So, with Joe Gomez here, as we can see, when we search in the market, 
The cheapest buy now this card goes for with the Shadow Chemistry Stroll applied is going to be around about 12,000 coins, maybe a little bit under that. Obviously, when you guys are using this method, prices may differ, and you guys don't have to use Joe Gomez, you can use other cards. What you want to do is find out the cheapest buy now which you can sell these cards on so far. So far, so it's going to be around about 11.5k. Then you would work out tax on 11.5k or just tax on the price you are selling your card on for. So for me, that is about 700 coins. Then we would take away tax and work out what we need to snipe at for a decent profit. So for me, if I snipe at 10,000 coins, any card which does pop up, we are going to be making a 500 coin profit. And what you guys would do is sit here and begin sniping. Now, you guys may think, oh, this filter may not be that active, but actually a lot of cards do pop up due to it being the beginning of the game. There is a lot of focus on gold rares with shadows. And straight away, you guys can see Joe Gomez for 10k with a shadow. If we pick that up, that is a 500 coin profit. And then you guys would just continue sniping. Now, if you do find a filter where the player is very competitive and you are unable to win some, that's fine. That's not a problem. You just head back over to the market and find a different player. For example, we could move on to Canate from Liverpool. Again, same premise, you guys. would just go and find the cheapest this card does sell on for with a shadow. So for Canate currently on the market, it's going to be around about 5,400, 5,500 coins. It's going to be this guy's buy now with a shadow. Tax on that is going to be around about 225 coins. So we would try and snipe at 5k and under. Again, any card which does pop up now, we are getting hundreds of coins profit here if we can win a trade. And I promise you guys, if you are patient, you can see one to two deals a minute. And you can see deals for lots of lots of profit for this uh, for these cards. For example, this Canate here, that would have been a 600 coin profit if we did pick up that trade. These filters are normally not very competitive, so you guys can normally win about half the trades you do see. So this is a very profitable and easy method to make coins in FIFA 23. The next trading method I'm going to be showing you guys, which will help you guys make easy coins in FIFA 23, is going to be the position change trading method. For this, what you want to do is select a player whose default position is just going to be, for example, let's use centre mid. You guys can use any other position like left mid, right mid, basically any position you want. But what you want to do is find a player who you would like to trade with. So for, let's say, for example, we want to use Fred from Man United. What we would do is, obviously, we know Fred comes out of packs originally in the centre mid position. So what we would do is head over to Fred's card and find what he does go for on the market in the centre mid position. So Fred's generic card in the centre mid position on the market, we can see it does go on the market for around about 4,300 coins. Around about that price, obviously that is his price currently on the market. It may differ when you guys are using the method. Then what we want to do is check Fred's secondary position. So the i.e. what position can we change Fred to? So for Fred, we can convert him over to a CDM if we wanted to. And people do do this. Now due to the price of position modifiers, what this actually means is that Fred in the CDM position, his price is actually increased. As you guys can see, Fred in the CDM position, well his price is actually all the way up at like... 4.9, thousand coins. And when we can go and get a generic Fred on the market for like 4,800 coins, what we are looking for is undercuts like this Fred here. We know CDM Freds on the market, we can get 4,900 coins for these cards. So all we are doing is looking for undercuts like this CDM Fred here for 4,400 coins. All we then want to do is just say, for example, work out tax. The so tax is going to be about 200 coins work out what we need to snipe for for tax, and then begin sniping these cards. And the reason why this method works so well is because people are completely unaware that the value of these cards does go up once they're position modified. People simply change their position for their team and then don't realise that it actually increases the price of these cards. So this method does actually work really well. Also, this method isn't too competitive as people aren't really trading with secondary position players. For example... A deal on the filter which I got earlier is this uh, CDM Fred here for 4.3 which we can go list up for 4.9k and take the easy profit. You guys can see how this method works. Now not only in the CDM 2 centre mid position, this method does actually work with other positions. For example, if you want to trade with a player from a cam who's then secondary position is striker, you guys could use that. All you're looking for is a player you want to trade with. So, for example, you would just find a player like I did, Fred, and then snipe them in their second position looking for undercuts. It's a very, very overpowered method as people don't know the prices and one of the easiest ways to make coins currently in the game in FIFA 22. So, I hope that method does help you out. Now, finally, guys, the last easy way which I'll be showing you guys to help make coins in FIFA 23 involves investing. Now, currently on the market, there is two main things which I would recommend investing in. Now, this will be the same when you guys are watching this video. 
First of all, it is going to be Team of the Week items. So far in the game, many Team of the Week items are at around discard price. What I would recommend you guys do is have a look at the informs which are down at like discard price. And just see if there is any from Major Leagues or Major Nations. So for example, this could be Team of the Week in the League Un. And you guys will just have a look and you guys can see we have this 81 rated here guy, Lefe at obviously 10,000 coins. Now, there is no harm if you do have a lot of coins in just picking up one of these cards for 10,000 coins. As if an SVC does come out, what is going to happen is this cards will go up. Obviously, if it SBC comes out, for example, player of the month SBC, which does require a team of the week item. These cards could rise in price, and with us having bought this card at 10,000 coins, it is a relatively safe investment. Obviously, if we do did this on a bigger scale, we could take the profit over all them cards, and the profit would add up. Now, the reason why this is such a smart investment, and basically the easiest way to make coins, is because we only paid 10,000 coins for this card, and as you guys can see, this card actually quick sells on the game for 9,882 coins. So at very, very maximum, we are only losing 118 coins. So it's very safe investment to just stock up these informs in your club for 10,000 coins and just hold them for a couple weeks or so waiting for an SBC to come out. Or you guys can just simply hold them until they go out of packs as then you guys can make profit as you have literally got these at discard price. And therefore, even if they don't rise up and you guys need the coins, you can just head over into your club and quick sell them. But this is definitely a smart investment in Team of the Week cards from good nationalities and good links that will most likely rise up when SBC demand does come through. Now, the second thing I would recommend you guys investing in is actually going to be fodder. So far in FIFA 23, we haven't had any big SBCs, and that means that the price of most 85s, 84s, and 83s is very, very cheap. Now, this is going to be a very safe investment, as, let's face it, throughout the next couple of weeks of FIFA 23, EA will drop some SBCs, which will rise the price of fodders. For example, this could be a play of the month SBC or stuff like that. A good example of what I would class as a good fodder buy would be an 85 rated Galaxy, for example, at 3,100 coins. This is an 85 rated card, which we know with easily, with demand, can go up to, for example, 7,000, 8,000 coins. So if you guys just stock 10 of these cards or so onto your transfer list, these cards are going to be really, really OP as it only takes 30 to stock 10 of them. And then if they do go up to 7,000 coins with SBC demand, that is 4,000 coins profit per card. That's an easy 40,000 coins profit. This is one of the most easy ways to make coins in the game. As you guys can see, we could literally pick these cards up for 3,200 coins. Now, I would only recommend re investing in these cards if you guys are a bit of a higher budget where you can't afford to hold some coins in them. But if you can, this is definitely an easy way to make coins in FIFA 23 as these cards are basically guaranteed to go up over the next couple of weeks due to SBC demand. Anyway, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. As you can see, the trading methods which I did show did work as both the cards did sell on for profit. Thank you guys for watching the video. If it did help you out, please make sure you have dropped a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA 23 content. You can also join my FIFA Discord server link in description. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.